big day in Missouri today. Yeah. Got a big delivery coming, yeah. <laughs> Waited like four weeks for this thing, but I still have to wait for it here, but I thought I'd go ahead and get that undone. Well, hey, let's go have some fun. Well, while we're waiting on the delivery, thought we could just go out here and have a little fun. I brought the golf cart up here.
I am surprised that it went there. I didn't take it on my one trail because I have to put the, the mule in four wheel drive to get out of there to get up the hill, but this cart right here, wow. It handled those good as you can see. I haven't looked at the footage yet, but I'm sure it's pretty bumpy, probably even more bumpier than what the GoPro can even handle. Well, I'm still waiting on my delivery. Let's see. Nope, no text message or nothing. He really isn't supposed to get here till later, but I'm just kind of hoping, you know, for an, an early delivery. I'm quite amazed with the GoPro footage. Oh my gosh. This cart here was bouncing all over the place. If you heard me yell anywhere in that video, that's because it just about knocked me out of it. But yet, the GoPro footage was smooth. I didn't think this thing would actually go up and down them trails. I mean, look at the tires that's on here. Don't know if you can see very good there. They're just regular old tires made for a golf course. But I'm looking into getting some knobby tires for this because these tires are thin. And I'm afraid I'm going to get punctured by a rock. I think now this golf cart is in the best element riding out here on these trails this thing is fun out there i probably need to do an oil change on it maybe do a little carburetor cleaning but this thing is fun when it gets warm i got these bright lights here and i can ride these trails at night well still waiting for my delivery it's not here yet haven't got a call or text from them when they get here i'll catch up with you all it's here it's here right there mine's the one on the back well let's figure out how they're going to get that off there okay he's going to unload this thing out in the street he actually has a little donkey thing that he moves them around it's actually stored in my shed that there is how they move these buildings around your property get them in place is that a neat idea I'll be able to hang some signs on the side of this thing. That's a neat trailer he has. It'll, it tilts up so he can let it down here in the back and then raise it up. And I'm guessing he's gonna put these wheels. I don't know, he might put them underneath here in the back. I'm not sure yet. Oh, that looked easy enough. This is so cool. Okay, we got some concrete blocks on there. Gonna try to get this, this old shed here leveled out. I do have ramps to the front of that so I can pull the golf cart and lawnmower in there. So we'll get the blocks under there, then he'll got some pieces of wood that shims the rest of it up. Believe it or not, there is more than a one block difference from the one side to the other. On that far side over there, we have one block, but over here, we have two blocks and still shimming it up. Doesn't look like the land slopes that much, but it does. Getting closer. He just has to go get some more little wood wedges and set up under there. This thing will be ready to go.
Whoop, well, got it done. Got it level. Yeah, all right. Got more place to store some things up here. I like that. I guess you could say this here is a turnkey shed because you just turn the key and it opens. Oh. Pretty cool. 12 by 24 on the outside. I'm probably going to be a little bit less on the inside. But now I can store stuff. Lots of room. Fits the golf cart. Fits a lot more. Ton more room. Been a tiring day. Now I guess I'll head to Tractor Supply or someplace and maybe buy some chains or something that I can hook onto here and over to there so these doors don't keep opening and everything while I'm trying to load and unload things. Well, hi everybody. Back here in Arkansas now. Got back from Missouri. We now have a place to store the golf cart and a riding lawnmower up there. Got it locked up. I did find some chains. I didn't find them at Tractor Supply, but I found them at a place called Race Brothers. I don't know how big of a company that is, but they're better than Tractor Supply, but a little bit more of a drive for me. Now I just need to get a couple eyelets and hooks and I can get those screwed into the side of that shed and have a way to hold them doors open because when I was trying to load up that lawnmower and golf cart, them doors are banging into the side of me. Like I said earlier, that GoPro, it took the bumpiness out of that trail riding. It's pretty bumpy up there, and that GoPro handled it really good. About knocked myself out of that cart three or four times. You heard me, well, I didn't, I wouldn't call it a scream, more of a woo, like wow. About knocked me out of the cart. I went looking online for some knobby tires, couldn't find nothing for that size rim. Went to a couple of the local tire shops around that area and they they want anywhere from 80 to 90 dollars and that's for a two-ply tire. Go online and I look and like they got them for 65 to 70 but they're still two-ply but the tire shop's going to charge me 10 dollars to put the tire on so it's about the same price. So I'm still looking around on Amazon. Can't find any knobbies but I can find some Turf tires is what they're called. They're basically for like riding lawnmowers. Yeah, they don't, they're not the greatest grip, but it's better than what I have. And for basically the price of three of these tires, I found a set of four with the rims already on them. So those are going to be here uh, probably next week, May, hopefully a little bit earlier. So once those tires come in, I'll be taking them up there. And I also got a new windshield for the golf cart. If you look back, I don't have the tinted shield on there anymore that said I just piddle because it had a small crack in it and I guess the pressure of the wind going against it when I was towing it up there broke it in like three or four pieces. So I no longer have a windshield. So I went ahead and ordered a new one and it'll be a full windshield. And I think it does fold down. So when it's hot outside, I can fold one part of it down and when it's cold outside I can leave them I can leave it folded up keep that cold air off of me and as I mentioned I do need an oil change I haven't changed the oil in it since I got it and that was back in 2018 that's like three years it's not that I ride that golf cart a lot to begin with but it's probably due for an oil change and I'll probably get some kind of cleaner to add to the gas to clean that carburetor out it's kind of spit and sputtering a little bit I'll just get that cleaned out with the carburetor cleaner and get an oil change and maybe blow out the air filter on it. It's probably not too dirty. I replaced it back when I did the oil change on it. Well, hey everyone, thanks for watching. You know, subscribe to the channel if you like this stuff. Like the video. Hey, comment on it. You got any questions about anything, just ask away. I'm pretty good at answering questions or replying to comments. I don't get all that many, so it's pretty easy to do. Probably in the next video, I'm going to do a rust removing video using electrolysis. Well, hey, again, thanks for watching and see ya!